In today's video, we're going to be painting up giant rats from Wreath of Miniatures. So, once we have the rats all primed up here, I've just gone with a nice white primer. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with some Castle Grey, and I'm going to be painting all the uh, stone working on the bases of the miniatures first. Now, you get quite a few rats in this um, giant rats pack. Uh, I've got six of them. So I'm going to be, uh, for all of these here in the stone working, we're going to be painting them all up the same way, but we're going to be doing different colours on the rats. So <clears throat> just making sure at the moment that we're getting a nice good coverage with this uh, nice and dark castle grey everywhere, just trying to avoid painting up the rat itself. So once we have all that base down with our castle grey, we're going to come in now with an ash grey, and what we're going to be doing with that is we're going to be dry brushing on top of this. So the reason why I did this first is so that we can dry brush around here with having no problem of uh, accidentally catching our rats on our stone texture. So it's just a nice easy way to um, avoid a lot of those problems by doing it first here and then we can always come back and touch up a little bit if we need to later on. So now that we have all the bases on all our rat miniatures done we're going to come in now with an ash grey and I'm going to be using the ash grey to be painting up the giant rat itself. Now there's going to be a couple of different uh, rats and a few different poses so we're going to be uh, doing a couple of different colours here but I'm going to be doing uh, each one you see here in colour I'm going to be doing on two of the rats since the rats come in a, a pack of six of them I'm going to be doing two here in this colour two in another colour and two in another colour later on so just making sure we get a good uh, coverage of the uh, ash grey here, really trying to cover the whole lot, just making sure to avoid missing any spots. Okay, now like I said, we're going to be painting up a bunch of these different rats in different colours, so now we're going to come in with some Necromancer Cloak, and I'm going to be painting up this one with Necromancer Cloak. So as I said before too, that we're, I'm also going to be painting up in uh, two lots each, so we're going to have two of the ones with the Necromancer Cloak, two of the, of the ones we just did and two in another colour. You may want to uh, vary it up and add in a few more colours here, but I'm just going with some uh, simple colour schemes and just, just to really show you and give you an idea of what you can do rather than just painting them all the one colour. So I'm just coming in here, giving it a nice good covering over the whole thing, not worrying about the eyes or the ears or anything. We're just giving it a nice coverage over the whole thing first. Okay, so now with the last uh, colour for the rats we're going to use here, I'm going to be using Vallejo Smoke colour. Now I was actually quite surprised at this colour, I thought it was going to be a sort of a, a greyish brown, but it turns out it's actually a very brown colour. Um, so going to be giving this a nice good covering, and since this, uh, I thinned it down with a little bit of water, I thinned it down a little too much here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place on the first coat, wait for it to dry, and then come over it again with the second coat. So we're just going for three basic colours of rats, so I had a look at um, the rats color scheme that you find most common rats in, which is a, a brown, a black, and a very occasional uh, white rat. So that's why I've chosen these uh, three colors here to do the rats, but feel free to do them in any color you wish. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the rat we did in the ash gray, and we're coming in with a matte white now. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dry brushing the matte white over top of the ash gray to pick out all the little uh, fur details on our rat here, and it's going to give it that nice uh, white rat colour. So I did this rather than going uh, straight into the white because I felt it would be too uh, too strong a colour and we wouldn't be able to pick up the white on all our uh, details that the rat has on it. So that's why we're going in with the dry brush over top of the white. Okay, so now that we've done that dry brushing, what we're going to do now is we're going to come in with Alvin Flesh. And we're going to be using the Alvin Flesh to be painting all the, the tails the little ends of the feet and the ears of our rats and all these uh, colours. Now I'm going to be doing this across all the colours of our rats, so that includes our one that we did a Necromantic Cloak and our Smoke Brown coloured one. We want to go all over with the album flesh here. And as you can see, I've come in with a lot finer detail brush, so I can really get into the areas like inside the ears and just pick out all the little toes and things like that. Just trying to get a, a nice good coverage without overspilling uh, too far on the areas that we've already painted up. So again, don't forget to do this over across all the colors of the rats. And the reason why I did this 
uh, rather than because I was originally going to go with a, a pink here, but I felt it would have looked uh, too unrealistic and too cartooning, so I wanted to go with a more realistic approach, and I felt like uh, Alvin Flesh is that good uh, in between because it's a very light skin tone color that has sort of a pinkish tinge to it. So I felt that was best to do this for all our skin texture on our rats here. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is I'm going to come in here now with some matte white. And I'm going to be doing this to just be painting up all the teeth that you can see here on the rats. And you can see that they have uh, the two big front prominent teeth popping up and all the little miniatures. So I'll just come in here again with a very fine brush. And I'm just going to pick them out very slow. Like, maybe a little bit hard to see on the camera here, jumping in and out of focus. Um, but it, it just has a small detail here of the teeth on all of them. So just making sure we give them a nice covering on all the colors of the rats that we've got. So once we have all those teeth picked out, what I'm going to do now is I'm coming with a monster brown. Now just doing this on our necromancer cloak uh, rats here is I'm going to be coming in and placing the monster brown just in the eye sockets here, just giving it a nice little dab with a very fine tip brush, just really getting on both the eyes here. Because I felt that the brown eyes would pop out quite nicely against our uh, very dark, nearly black uh, rats here. So. Again, this is just the color that we're going to be using on our dark colored Necromancer Cloak rats. And now we're moving on to our rats here with our Dragon Red. And this one here is just going to be on the Ash Gray and the ones we uh, dry brush white. Again, just coming with that very fine detail brush and my camera struggling to focus here. Uh, and just dabbing just a very little light dot onto the eye socket areas that are carved in here. Uh, they have very good uh, detail on the eyes. And looking up uh, and researching for the color schemes that I wanted to go with these rats, found that uh, white rats of course have very bright red beady eyes. So just trying to get as close as I can to a real thing. And with our brown rat here, we're actually just going to leave the eyes alone because it settled in quite nicely. So what we're going to do now is move on with soft tone. And we're going to use this across all our rats. So we're going to use it uh, on our uh, Necromancer cloak colored rats, so our black rats, our white rats, and these brown rats here. And I'm being pretty uh, messy with it. I'm covering it over the whole thing that includes the ground texture, the um, the alvin flesh that we use for our skin, just giving it everywhere a nice overall co cover of soft tone. Now, <clears throat> with the white rats, I did knock down the strength of the tone wash with just a little bit of water for the white rats, just so it didn't stick out so hard. With that we have completed our very quick and easy paint job with our giant rats from Reaper Miniatures. So you can see here that just by adding in a few different colors of rats we can vary them up on the table here. We've got some nice light rats, some dark rats and then some brown rats. I just went for some uh, very common colors you find of rats here and, and you can see in a pack when you're having them on a table and in front of a battle they can stand out a little bit make it a little bit easier to track when you're playing the game or just a cool little visual interest. But with that, I hope you find this video a nice easy one to do if you want to replicate yourself or if you just enjoy watching me uh, paint these miniatures up. Um, so with that, that's where we're going to end the video there. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you do enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys later.